Welcome to my bathroom! <laughs> so this is a little bit different, right? Because today I thought I would show you guys how I take off my makeup. So this is my humble bathroom. Yes, this is where I put my toilet paper. This is where all my goo and my hoarding exists. Um, yeah, not much explanation needed. But I thought I would tell you guys how I like take off all my waterproof makeup and all this cake on the face at the end of the day. You know, when you're about to go to bed or you're just taking off your makeup because makeup does not feel good on the face. Um, so yeah, I'll just be letting you guys know what products I use and things like that and the type of routine I go through and blah 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 blah. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, put your hair in a bun, girl. Because you don't want to be like washing your face and then like all the water slash makeup slash grease slash dust uh, from the day gets into like your little baby hairs. So put your hair up in a bun. That's what I usually do first. And then first things, I always use a cleansing oil. So the one I've been using lately, if you want to focus. All right. So the one I've been using is this. Uh, Amour, I don't know if it's Amour or Amore Pacific, and this is the Treatment Cleansing Oil. So I love using cleansing oils over like the micellar waters or what else? You know the makeup removers that are half oil and half water. I don't really find that those work great for waterproof mascara because it still like makes me tug at the eye and the more you kind of move the skin around the eye, like that's really delicate. You want the product that you're using to be as least abrasive to the uh, skin as possible. Before, I really love the Body Shop, I think it's the Chamomile uh, cleansing oil as well. Usually I'll do about one or about two squirts of this. And what you want to do, get it all over the palms and then just start massaging that into the face. And then it, oh, hello. <laughs> so I look, you know, you look like the Joker. Is that, is this Joker? Yeah, it's the Joker. Um, and then just like, especially over the eyes, if you wear a lot of waterproof eyeliner or mascara, you just want to like slowly work it into the eyes and you'll feel it break down the mascara. And then really get into the eyeballs because if you put mascara on the bottom as well, that tends to like always leave, you know, you looking like you have dark circles, but actually it's just because you didn't wipe off the makeup well enough. Then you want to just rinse your face off with warm water. Ugh. And now your face, oh my God, don't even look at this huge freaking thing stuck on my face it grew there last night now your face is about 85 to 90 percent clean but what we're gonna do now what i always do is like the double cleansing you still want to deep cleanse your face and make sure all the dead skin and everything comes off from the day as well so what i normally go on to next is a cleanser so this can just be like your normal everyday cleanser and the one i've been really really loving and like I seriously cannot live without it now is this Derma E Purifying Daily Scrub. And for those of you with oily combination skin, anything with charcoal is really good at bringing out all the impurities in your pores and things like that. Take about, you know, that size of it. I'll kind of spread this over the face, avoiding the eye area. And then I take my facial cleanser. You want to make sure that everything um, comes off, right? You don't want to sleep with a dirty face. So what I do is just wet the brush. So just for like maybe 30 seconds, I'll massage this all over the face. Now we're going to wash it off. And then with cold water, I like to wet my face towel and then wipe away at the edges because a lot of the time when you use like bronzer and contour around the edge of the face, and you wash it, it doesn't come off completely. And that's why I use this, see? There's still like makeup that's been like in my hairline and things like that. So now your face is really nice and clean, right? So after that, if I've decided to do a mask, then right after I cleanse my face, I'll choose which one. So right now I'm using the Vichy 3-in-1 Scrub and Mask. Um, otherwise I'll use the Aesop 
parsley seed and I talked about this in my last video this is like the best mask ever I also use the origins charcoal mask but I ran out of that so I'll just show you guys what I normally do so I'll just put half on half I normally put this on for about 10 to 15 minutes mm, yeah. dude this pimple is crazy why so then after the mask your skin is nice and taut and clean so now on to the products I use to you know moisturize my skin so I have two like toners so the first one is the one that you guys always hear me talk about it's the SK2 facial treatment essence and I also use the Mario Badescu Special Cucumber Lotion. So I use this when my skin has been problematic and is breaking out like now. Like I can't believe this thing is so gross. So I just pour a bit of that onto my hands and then just pat that all over the face. Why is my Spotify playing? That was so weird. It just started playing by itself. I'm kind of creeped out. Then, so after that, I'll use a serum. And the serum I've been using is this Derma E Purifying Youth Serum. And it's for normal oily skin. And I've been using a lot of Derma E lately because they're actually really, really good. So yeah, I just put this everywhere, all over the face once that essence or that toner has really sunken in rush it along because ain't nobody got time to wait for things to sink into the face so while that kind of sinks in i'll put in a um, eye cream and the one i've been using lately is this one from police and it's the blue lotus four in one eye adore serum so it says it's for intensive hydration it firms it brightens and decreases puffiness so for those of you who put concealer under the eye and you find that like a lot of the time it creases or it's really dry that's probably because you really need to step up your eye cream game so now that's on next is moisturizer but actually depending on how my skin is feeling that day i use different things after this so i'll either go in with a moisturizer or a facial oil or i'll go in with a mask with the sleeping masks i use two the first one is the laneige water sleeping mask and with these masks you just slather it all over like you would a moisturizer and you keep it on overnight and wash it off in the morning and it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel like you actually have a mask on which is really great so this one comes like this it's just like a gel another one is this derma e overnight peel and then i really feel that my skin is like um more smoother and like replenished of hydration otherwise i'll go in with a oil and you guys know i usually use the midnight recovery concentrate by keels um yeah i'm almost finished with this one and then i will normally put about five to six drops all over my face and then just kind of work it in and down the neck as well or else i'll use the moisturizer which i'm using the belief true cream aqua bomb and actually i like to put on like more moisturizer on at night because you have the entire night to kind of absorb into it so yeah so after all the moisturizers you know you've given it some time to all sink into the skin i'll go in with the pimple cream and obviously i'm going to be tackling this idiot and this like little civilization of pimples over here um so i've been using the clinique acne solution clearing gel and this is what like i talked about this before it's pretty much salicylic acid in a gel form and then i'll put that over everything as my last step and this stings a bit but i like that feeling because then i feel like it's actually doing something to the pimple okay so that is i guess the end of my take the day off with me kind of uh routine at the end of the night slash whatever i don't even know what i'm saying anymore <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy it because i literally had to take my mirror out of this vanity to like sit you guys here so thumbs up if you like this video i'm gonna be trying a lot of new products soon like skincare products so i'm thinking of doing like more trial and error i mean like trials of different um skincare brands especially korean brands because i really am getting into that so i'll let you guys know how that goes 
So yeah, I think that's all I have to say for this video. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So I'm thinking of doing like a brown kind of lip um, and like a really matte, really easy eye. Um, so yeah.